Hello my Gemini friends, this is Guiding Halo here with your end of May snapshot. Let's see what we got going on for you guys. End of May snapshot. Thank you to all those who have liked, shared, and subscribed. And thank you so much. Welcome. And all, to all those who are new, welcome to the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. If any of this resonates with you guys, however it does, please leave a message in the comments and let me know. I try and answer every single comment. Let's see what's going on for my Geminis. The end of May snapshot. What we got here. Oh, here's one. The ego. Someone's all up in their ego about something. A false sense of entrapment. Being too focused. Too. <sighs> being overly focused on material things. Negative fear-based thoughts. And the Ten of Swords. The end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better from here. That's beautiful. All right. Because, you know, in endings, we can't get past anywhere else to the new beginnings. Got to put down the burdens at some point in time, hey? Possibly recovering from addiction. You have negative or fear-based thoughts. Hmm. This might not resonate with everybody, but definitely resonate for a few. Let's see what we got going on here for my Geminis. Whoa. Okay, so we have standing up for yourself, protecting that which you believe. There's been a temporary pause in action. You've been single possibly for a while. Temporary pause in action is about looking at what you've built so far. We have two sevens. You guys must go and see what sevens are about. Google seven seven and see what the meaning of that is. Definitely, this here is about ego. A false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts, feeling like you have to stand up for yourself. I think whoever this reading's for, it's possible you've been single for a while, building your finances, working on your pentacles and your, your foundational growth in the 3D realm. Yeah, it has to do with a Capricorn, perhaps? Someone who's very spiritually enlightened. Whoa. There is healing coming to this situation. Perhaps it could be dealing with, yet again as well, addictions of any kind. Uh, gosh, you name it. They can call in anything an addiction nowadays. There's indecision. See, even indeci indecision can be an addiction. But indecision about what to do next or which way to move forward. Someone's going to make an offer or you're going to. We have a false sense of entrapment here being overly focused on material things. Negative or fear-based thoughts. Perhaps you're afraid of somebody's addiction. You could also be afraid of somebody's enlightenment. Maybe they've said a few things that you feel are very ego-based and you've had to stand up for yourself. There is healing coming in this situation, however. You're having a very hard time making a decision. There is going to be an offer, whether it's a messenger or whatever, of communication that may help fix this uh, lack of decision-making problem. May help you end things once and for all, instead of going around in this merry-go-round of should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I. All right, let's see what this Ten of Air is about, the end of the difficult situation. Let's see what this is about here. Using your intuition, deciding what's best for you. The Keeper of Secrets. Perhaps you've been figuring there's far too many secrets going on here. Yeah, there's definitely a truth that's come out, that's for sure. been very hard to take maybe someone hid an addiction from you and it brought a tower moment this truth about this addiction and we have a broken heart yeah someone's definitely had a lot of upset over it been stabbed in the heart with hope faith and trust this big old ace of swords here came along and split in three and went I see a passionate offer happening. 
maybe his passionate offer was made to someone other than you. Maybe that's what ended things. And long-term commitment. Could be dealing with Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Pisces. So, I think after an ending or something that broke your heart, you're actually looking for a long-term commitment, something with passion. And I see something passionate coming in, and you're going to take a leap of faith on that. Yeah, you are, my Gemini friends. There's been a tower moment due to your intuition, which is beautiful. If you're going to have a tower moment, you definitely want that. But there's a passionate offer coming in that will lead to long-term commitment and you're definitely going to take a leap of faith towards that perhaps that's what this offer is let's see what combines the two of these situations what combines the two of these situations for my gemini friends please? combines the situations for my gemini friends the hermit so it's about going inward spend time in quiet meditation spiritual teaching and self-discovery so you had to go inward in order to find the truth for yourself, perhaps? Justice. Okay, so fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. So that's obviously what you did and something definitely ended on the outset of all that. But something new is coming in and I see you taking a leap of faith there. Yes, I do. Beautiful energy, my Gemini friends. Oh, we got two. I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Listen to and follow the steps. I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. That's beautiful. Patience. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. What are my Geminis learning about? What are my Geminis learning about? King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Are you guys learning how to be more heart-centered, more balanced in your emotions, perhaps? Dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, perhaps? Ten of Swords, again, yeah, definitely an ending between a King of Cups or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's affected you. So if you're in King of Cups energy, or your Earth energy, yeah, there's apology coming going to make you emotional. I wonder if someone's going to apologize and bring about a passionate offer that you wanted all along that's going to reunite something, but I don't see reuniting cards here anywhere. Well, I see victory in a situation, that is for sure, whether it's victory through an apology and the judgment card, well, and patience and justice. All right, so my friends... The divine is bringing something around for you to deal with. You will have victory over it. Apology is coming. The divine is involved here. It's about the temperance card. This is also the card of Sagittarius, but about having hope, faith, trust, and love that the divine is working in the background to bring things to fruition in your highest good, whatever that is. And it's divine justice that happened. This is Lady of the Lake. Okay, guys, I hope it resonated, my Gemini friends. This is your snapshot for the end of the month. If it did resonate, please leave a message. Let me know how it did resonate, and please like, share, and subscribe. Blessings.